Hello, Daddy. I'm Greg. What's the Greg here? You can say, I'm pretty out there. What's your favorite of the day? Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is one that uh, Matt sent me. This is the Anti-Hero IPA uh, coming in at 6.5% ABV. This is done by Revolution Brewing and they are out of Chicago, Illinois. Uh, got the Hophead General, four star general, anti hero with the hop cones parachuting in the background. And the other side's got a green fist that says anti hero IPA. Still got the hops parachuting around. So looks pretty tasty. Matt, thanks for sending this one to me. I've never even heard of these guys. So this will be the first one from them. This is an American IPA, like I said, 6.50. The food practice of this cuisine is the curry and the Thai food. The cheeses are the peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue. Your more pungent cheeses, gorgonzola, Limburger, go well with this. Uh, the meat for this is poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon, and, and all grilled meat goes well with your IPAs. Your stronger dishes go well with your IPAs. Uh, the glass bar for this one, guys, a pint, the back of the stein, the mug, the tumbler, the side dial. I got the pint glass for this one. 6.5%. Uh, you could almost get the tulip or the oversized wine glass or the dual glass. Uh, I'm going I'm to put this one in the pint glass today, guys. And uh, being an IPA, you, it's not going to go bad at 6.5%, but you want to drink this as fresh as possible. And this one does not have a date on the bottom of the can like some of the bigger ones. Uh, a lot of times they stamp that on the carton or, or however it's packaged, but not on independent cans. But they need to be on each can, so we're gonna we're gonna ha we're gonna hack on them for that. Uh, they need to step up to the plate. They've they've already gone to the can version. They need to have a date on the can that's made especially for this. So they need to get the equipment. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here we need to talk about, and I've talked about everything that's on the can here, so without further ado, let's get the top popped on this and get it in the glass. Alrighty. That there for y'all can see it. Over to the light, guys, it looks really good really clear I don't see a lot of junk in the trunk on this one no floaties or anything special doesn't look like it has any uh, hot pulp like Cigar City's High Lie does uh, I mean not, I'm not hacking on them for having it I mean it's just it's there I, you just gotta be aware that's what it is and it's supposed to be there that's just like the heavy topper it has all that in there too so you just gotta be aware it's in there and that's one reason they probably like to have it in the can so you can't see it <laughs> until it's poured in it and a lot of them tell you to drink it out of the can like I think it's what heavy topper says drink it from the can they don't want you to see it alright guys very tangerine got us a good finger of head on that orangey tangerine color let's get a nose on it wow Real citrusy and, and light tropical fruit, mango, some tangerines or something like that. Really light, fruity. And the hop is definitely there. I mean, it, this is pretty fresh, I would say. I don't know. Uh, Matt, you might give me some comments if you know what the, if there was a date on a carton or how they do their dating on these cans. Or if they do any dating on their cans. Uh, I mean, some people don't. If you're doing an IPA, you need to have a date on the can. This smells super sweet, very citrusy, uh, a little grapefruit in there, a little bit of pine, but it is so, so tropical smelling. It's citrusy. Wow. Cheers, everybody. Thanks, Matt. Oh, yeah. Very tasty. Very, very, very tasty.
it got a, to me, it's got just the right amount of balance there between the, the sweetness and the bitterness of the hops. There is so much going on here with the grapefruit, mango, oranges, tangerines. It's so citrusy. I mean, it, it's like it has orange juice or, or tangerine juice or, or something like that in it. It's very nice. Very, very nice. If I could get this, it was, it, you'd see this green thing in the fridge all the time. It was very tasty. This was like an exceptional beer. I'm leaning very heavily toward the, uh, the A side on this one. Definitely going to be an A. We're in the A's. We're going to get that. That's the key. We're going to let it warm up. Let her taste it. Wow. Well, my hair might be blowing back a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little left here. This is an awesome beer. I mean, it's damn delicious. If I could get this, it would be in the fridge all the time. It is such a pleasant beer to drink. It's, it is. It has a lot of the sweetness that I like. It's typical of a Bell's Too Hard a Day. Uh, that's more on the sweet than the bitter side. But this has a nice bitterness on the back end of it that, that, that makes it nice and not makes it not too sweet. So, very orangey, tangerine, mango, tropical fruit. Very pleasant. I don't tell you. That's, guys, this is a tin beer if it had a date on the bottom of it. It needs to have it on each can. I mean, they probably got a stamp somewhere, maybe on the 6-pack or the 12-pack or however it's packaged. I don't know how it comes. I wouldn't think uh, this is a 4-pack and a 12-ounce can. Usually the 4-packs are at least 16s when they do it. In the cans, anyway. I mean, there are a lot of bottles in 12 ounces that still in 4-packs. but not seen many cans in 4-packs. Uh, not in that size. I'm going to give it to 9 out of 10 because it doesn't have a date on it, but it's uh, it's damn sure worth picking up if you can get it if you're in that neck of the woods. I do not know what the distribution is on this beer or that beer company, Revolution. So, uh, it's worth picking up. If you're an IPA head, you like the hops, this has definitely got it. Very nice, very citrusy, very sweet on the front, nice bitterness on the back. So, guys, uh, Beer Abbey comes up with 92, which is in their exceptional range. And Rate Beer says 97 overall, 96 in the style. So, and their commercial description here, and I, and I got a kick out of this, says an American hop assault for all the amb amb ambivalent warriors who get the girl in the end. Quote, look, I ain't in this for your revolution, and I'm not in it for you, princess. <laughs> That's a chuckle. All right, guys. Pretty good ratings from everybody all around. It's definitely an A beer, whether it's a 9 or a 10. If it had a date on it, it'd be a 10 to me. But without the date, it's a 9. So if you've had it, give us comments back on this. And rate, comment, subscribe. Got rid of all the openers since the last two out today. Still got plenty of t-shirts if anybody wants one. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow.